Hello and welcome to Modern Warfare In-Depth, Episode 8. I'm your host, Drifter, and today we're going over the P99 handgun. Despite its compact size, the P99 is actually top tier when it comes to damage. It does 49 to 17 damage per shot, making it a 3 to 6 shot kill at any range or a 2 shot kill up very close. What you probably didn't know is that 49 damage is the same maximum damage as the MP412, 44 Magnum, and Desert Eagle, so this is a very high damage handgun. Its rate of fire is the highest among all handguns with its capped maximum speed of 1200 RPM. If you've got mods or fast trigger fingers, you can really dump out bullets on people with this gun. That is extremely fast. That would actually be the fastest firing weapon in this entire game if your trigger finger can keep up. The range on the PP9 is fairly average, being identical to that of the 5.7 and very similar to that of the USP. That being said, close range, very dangerous, far away, not so dangerous. It has 12 rounds in the magazine normally, or 18 rounds should you choose to go extended mags. It reloads in 1.23 seconds, which is just barely slower than the USP and still incredibly fast. The P99's raise and draw time are very fast and very similar to the rest of the pistols at 0.53 and 0.56 respectively. Because of its extremely high initial damage and its extremely high rate of fire, this weapon has the fastest time to kill of any of the handguns and the second fastest time to kill of any gun in the game. The only gun that will kill somebody faster, within its uh, range that is, is the Type 95. This makes the P99 a death machine at close range. According to the information I have, the P99 should have the same recoil pattern as the USP. However, while playing with the weapon, the P99 felt significantly less accurate. The visual recoil, as in how the gun kicks back, made it more difficult for me to see my targets, and it seemed to have more recoil both when aiming down sights and akimbo or hip fire than the USP did. It might just be the way I'm feeling things, or this weapon might actually have more recoil and my information is wrong. This weapon, like the USP, really doesn't have any bad attachments. Pretty much anything you choose to put on it is going to be a good attachment. However, because it has a very narrow range drop and extremely high damage, I thought it would be best using silencer, because when I put the silencer on, the range isn't affected significantly, and its usefulness, its strength, which is in that very close range death area, isn't really going to be hurt by the addition of the silencer. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it and learned something useful. In the next episode, I'm going to be going over the MP412 handgun, which is a very interesting little pistol. Drifter out.